morning, everybody. John Melody here from You Pick Six with fourth episode of What's Brewing. Morning, Katie. Morning, John. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? Thanks for getting me out of bed this early to do this. I You're appreciate welcome. that. You're welcome. Um, very exciting month of August with uh, Fatheads Brewery. We were just there, which you'll see a little bit later on in this episode, last week to check out the new brewery they have there just outside Cleveland. Lots of exciting things happening. Bumbleberry on tap all month long. It is, I'm really excited for the month of August. Yep, we have some beer exclusives coming in. Um, we're gonna have the Hot Marauder Imperial IPA, also some uh, Red Kolsch, some Fuzzy Wuzzy Peach Ale, um, some other exciting beers. Uh, we are also giving away a beercation to the new brewery in Cleveland, um, near Cleveland. It's in Middleburg Heights. Uh, this new brewery is massive. It's 75,000 square feet. We went, we're able to see the production line and crazy, crazy. crazy. I mean, crazy. you just walk in the door and the, and I hope you can see this from, from, uh, from the footage, but the, the bar itself is probably 10, 12,000 square feet right out of the gate. Yeah, the I mean, pub. it's just They're calling absolute, it their beer hall. Their beer hall. So very kind of a German kind of theme. So, but yep. interesting for sure. Yep. So the beer cation beer that we're giving away. Uh, we are going to give away uh, it'll include a tour of the brewery, um, a $25 gift card uh, to the pub for um, lunch or dinner. It'll include a night of lodging at a nearby hotel, and it also includes two tickets to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, no, have you been there? I have not, yeah. I have not, but uh, hopefully there. I was there, there many years ago when they did the U2 exhibit, which was absolutely fantastic. Ah, I was very impressed with the place. Yeah. But anytime anybody comes here from Ireland, which they do, we can't get rid of them sometimes, two things you gotta do. You gotta go to Niagara Falls, and you gotta go to the Rock and Roll <laughs> Hall of Fame. It's kinda crazy, but they really do appreciate both. Got it. But as part of this beercation we're giving away, there's a blueberry pie eating competition. Now, you know, I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but this is, this is the fathead guy, I'm not even sure what his name is, but for the blueberry pie eating competition, you know, you get in there and you eat a pie and whoever eats the most pies in a certain amount of time can win this beer cation, which Katie just told you about. So yep. there you go. That's what you're going to look like We're afterwards. Leave, but uh, uh, leave there him he is. There. But, so. uh, <laughs> it's exciting. You know, I'm not doing it, but there's other people doing it. That'll be the same night. That'll be September 7th, actually. That's the same night as we're doing a block party. We're going to close down Fourth Street. We're doing a fundraiser for the Leukemia Lymphoma Society, and uh, we're calling it the Light the Block um, Party. And we're kind of doing that with uh, with Erie Insurance and uh, trying to raise some good money for a great charity as well. So that'll be part of that. There's lots of kind of prizes and giveaways and lots of different stuff going on, different tastings going on, which I'll tell you about in a second. So there's just a lot going on in the month of August. That uh, and and. For those of you who don't know anything about Fatheads, it's, 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 it's incredible what they've done. Started small in Pittsburgh, moved to Cleveland, and uh, now, like Katie said, just opened a 75,000 uh, square foot facility yeah. with an additional 50,000 square feet beside that, which they hope to morph into in the next couple of years. They're currently only in three states, which is Ohio, mm. Pennsylvania, Indiana, Indiana, and then they're hoping to go to New York later in the year yep. or maybe next year. But uh, it's incredible what they do. They have super beers, and like we say, the uh, Bumbleberry is on tap all month long here at all four locations. So we're at the tap house right now. And, uh, you know, they have lots of good products and uh, they're growing, expanding. For anybody who's a, a serious IPA fan, the Hop Juju is probably as good as it gets. So we saw where the Hop Juju was brewed. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Know, it is, it is. I think uh, right now, this is a good point for us to um, give them a sneak peek. Yeah, absolutely. Go right ahead. See where so, we were there uh, last week with, with Sarah and Joe. So. Have a look at this one, this yeah. is interesting. Go take a look at the brewery.
um, after that little um, happening here, I Where? think I might uh, he got decide excited. to clean him off. I don't. <laughs> he does like blueberries. I don't know if he mind. wants to uh, film the rest of the episode like this, John. So I will do a courtesy wipe for yeah for his face. And, you uh, know, and while she's doing that, let me tell you just about some of the uh, beer tastings that we have coming up. Wednesday, August first, seven p.m. at Public House, um, Fathead's Beer Tasting. Harbour House then is Wednesday, August eighth at seven o'clock. Tap House is Wednesday, August 15th at 7 o'clock. And the final uh, beer tasting for the month is Beer Store, which is Wednesday, August 22nd at 7 o'clock. So, again, some good, uh, and, and there is some exclusives that we're getting from Fatheads, and uh, we have a few of those. And again, stay tuned to upick6.com for, for more information on that kind of stuff. So. so, we did a pretty good interview when we were there, so have them take a look at the interview with uh, Sarah and Joe. Hi everybody, John Melody here from UPIC6. I'm here at Fatheads Brewery, their new brewery, which hasn't opened yet, so you're getting a sneak preview just outside Cleveland. I'm here with Katie from UPIC6, Joe, who's the head sellerman from Fatheads, and Sarah, who is the main guru when it comes to marketing and sales and so on for, uh, for Fatheads. So we're excited to be here. It is uh, tremendous. We just had a tour. The facility is enormous. It's fantastic. They're doing all kinds of cutting edge, great things here, and it's very, very exciting to see it. Sarah will tell you a little bit about the history of Fatheads here in a second, which is uh, from where they were and to where they came is, is a great story. So, Sarah, you go right ahead. Yeah, so we kind of have um, an interesting history. It's not typical of a brewery. So we actually started in 1992 um, in the south side in Pittsburgh, so not super far from, from your neck of the woods. Um, and Glenn and Michelle Benigni built our original location, which was a bar. Um, it's actually still there today and still a functioning Fatheads bar. Uh, they had a handful of tap handles that were imports and a little bit of craft and Glenn was always calling breweries and being like please come bring your beer to us we want to distribute it and kind of the people that ignore and that annoy me now in my job where I'm like okay fine <laughs> calm down um, but had a ton of success uh, Fatheads grew to be very popular they celebrated their 25 year anniversary there last year um, and so then Matt Kohler had brewmaster actually went to the University of Pittsburgh so he spent a lot of time as a regular at the Fathead Saloon um, they used to, he used to bring his homebrew in and all the other regulars would try it and he brewed some beer um, and he got to know Glenn through that. Uh, Matt went on and brewed at a couple different places and then ended up wanting to move back to Ohio and open up his own space and he found um, the building that's our pub in North Olmstead, uh, which is a massive, I think it's like 7,000 square foot restaurant that we now built. Um, and he was trying to find out what he was going to do with it. He wanted to build a brewery called Aviation Ale Works because it's really close to the airport. We're actually still really close to the airport. Um, and he called Glenn because Glenn was a restaurant tour and he knew he was doing a new good beer. And so he's like, will you come out, check out my space, tell me if what I'm doing is crazy, like help me out here. And Glenn was like, sure, I'll come check it out. Glenn drove into Pittsburgh, saw the space and was like, no, nah, man, you have great beer. I know you know what you're doing. Why don't we partner and make it as a Fatheads and we can start to brew beer because Glenn always kind of wanted his own beer. Um, so then in 2009, we built the brew pub in North Olmsted. Um, that year we won our first uh, national IPA competition, which is a competition on the West Coast. Um, it had never been won by any brewery not from the West Coast. So that was like a really fun experience. Um, and we won a GABF medal the following year. I think, no, maybe 20, 20, 2009 might have been the first GF, GABF medal as well. Um, so very quickly, Matt and Glenn kind of realized that it was more than just a brew pub and they wanted to do more than just that. So fast forward three years, um, in June of 2012, we opened our old production facility, which is just a mile down the road behind us. Um, and that was a little 19,000 square foot brewery. I actually remember, um, I didn't work for Fatheads at the time, but I remember coming and seeing the space when Matt was kind of building it up. And I remember him telling me, um, he never imagined how he was gonna fill that space, like how he could make that much beer. Um, and lo and behold, you know, five or six years later, and we, we grew out of that space real fast. So we were there about five years. And we grew out of this space. We had started building this facility in July of 2017. Uh, so we just eclipsed the year a little bit ago, and now we're getting ready to launch uh, kind of the mothership that is now Fatheads. So nice. it's been a nice little, yeah, yeah. Nice little journey. Story, for sure. Tell us a little bit about your core brands and you know what you guys are really known for. Yeah, I should have all of them out here, but um, we're, we're selling all the beer we can make right now, so there's not a lot laying around, which is a great problem to have. But we have three core brands, so um, our flagship beer for sure is Headhunter, which is our IPA. It's one of our most award-winning beers. It's won two GABF medals, a handful of World Beer Cup medals, um, the National IPA competition. It's a big, hoppy, resinous, 7.5%, 87 IBU, West Coast-style IPA. It's a beautiful beer. Uh, but Bumbleberry, which is the beer you guys are featuring and the beer we're going to drink today, is kind of, uh, it kind of came out of the cracks for us and ended up being just almost as big as Headhunter, which is great. Um, so that's our second, our second flagship. We kind of have the, uh, the benefit of having two. 
Um, and Bumbleberry is our 5.5% or 5.3% honey ale that's brewed with blueberries. So you just get this like really nice effervescent, like beautiful fruit beer. But I think the thing that's most special about Bumbleberry compared to other fruit beers is when it finishes, it just finishes like a beer and you walk away and it's delicious. You don't get that like cloyingly sweet syrupy fruit flavor. It's like a really nice balanced beer. Um, and then our third flagship beer is our smaller brand is Sunshine Daydream, uh, which I think is a staff favorite here at the brewery. It's our session IPA, 4.9%, really tropical fruit flavors to it. Um, a little floral, but just uh, you get the big, big aroma of a big IPA from Sunshine, but it's a really drinkable beer. So I think we all like to drink Sunshine at the end of the day because you can have like three of those as opposed to like one headhunter and you got to go home because <laughs> nobody's having more than one of those. Sure, sure. Um, so that's kind of our, our core portfolio at this point. I think as we grow and as this new facility goes off the line, then maybe if you guys come back next year, we might have five core beers. I don't right, know. Right. It might be a whole different road by then. Well, you know, if we're invited back, we will come back. You know that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and here on my left shoulder is Joe. Joe is the head cellarman of Fatheads Brewery. So Joe, take it away. Tell us what a cellarman does. So uh, the way I like to describe people, because most people don't know what a cellarman does, is the beer is brewed on a day and it's packaged on a day. Uh, everything else in between happens in the cellar. So it's washing fermentation, cleaning your tanks, transferring beer, dry hopping, which is big with the American IPA fade, you know, fade. Fan favorite, whatever. Fan favorite. Yeah. yeah, works, yeah. Um, uh, any kind of adding fruit additives, pumpkin additives, things like that. Most of that happens in the cellar, as well as barrel aging and, and filtration, stuff like that. So right. it's kind of a catch all for everything in the middle between yeah. brewing and packaging. And, and, and all along, I always thought that the brewmaster did all the work. The, he thinks he does. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> loud and clear on that one, Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So have you been with Fatheads for a long time? Or? Yeah, I'm going uh, just over four years now. So I, I started up a year into the uh, old production facility and, right. and carried us through the transition. Yeah, yeah, so you've been along for the ride. Good for you. Yeah. Good stuff. Katie, tell us what we got on tap all month long at all locations, all things you pick six. Uh, you pick six. Here we go, guys. Um, obviously, for August, we will have the Bumbleberry on tap at all locations. Um, we're going to sample that here as some, soon as somebody gets me a bottle opener so I can open these bottles. Um, we're going to have one, I promise. Um, <laughs> with this beer, to let you guys know, uh, we will be serving these with fresh blueberries to accent the wonderful aromas and taste of this bumbleberry. Um, so we're going to sample it. And it's really get them cool, open. But because when you put the blueberries in it, because of the carbonation of the beer, the blueberries will kind of oscillate, kind of like a lava lamp. They kind of party in the glass. Right. So. It's a fun little, fun little party trip. So we're gonna have dancing blueberries all dancing, month long. Dancing yeah, blueberries all month long. Okay, something to look forward to. It's like the Grateful yeah. Dead dancing bears, but blueberries. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be amazing. Plastic cups are not I'm super trying. friendly. I'm cool. trying, Sarah. I told you, I was like, if we were up and running and we had a full bar, we'd be in a fancy position, but you guys get the sneak peek, which means we're, uh, we're scrounging for cups and bottle openers and all the stuff you need. <laughs> and it is, it's, 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 it's fantastic to get a little amazing bit of a kind of a- here you know, a little bit of a preview here. Um, yeah. slated, slated for opening at the end of next month. The end of next month is what we're hoping for. Right. But I mean, as you guys know, opening restaurants is challenging. Yeah, so. yeah. You never, you never give anybody an opening date <laughs> no, because you just, not. you give them a proverbial stick to beat you with when you don't make that date. So, yeah. But we're absolutely. sitting at uh, one of the corner pieces of the restaurant, which we're really excited about. This is going to be our tree table. Uh, so it won't sit right here, but yeah, you see the big hole, but we'll sit a little bit further back, but we're actually going to have a live tree in the brewery. Um, it's sort of, uh, Matt, our brewmaster, is a big mountain biker. He's a big outdoorsman. Glenn, our other owner, is a big hiker. So there's kind of like a lot of like environmentally friendly, super outdoorsy people that work here. So nice. when someone pitched the idea of putting a tree in the brewery, they both jumped on it. So I'm waiting for when the garage doors are open and then we have birds. Yes. That's like, that live in the tree. That's my, I'm excited about that part. <laughs> All right, we're going to sample, sample the old brewery. Yeah, yeah. So cheers, cheers guys. Cheers. Yeah. Thanks, uh, thanks, thanks for having for, us. Absolutely. Yeah. And these came off the line like an hour ago. Yeah, I gave you guys a sneak preview um, on a couple of our social media channels. Um, we did see the bottling line, and we were fortunate enough to catch um, catch it while they were uh, bottling the bumbleberry. So this is a fresh, freshly bottled batch fresh um, that we are yeah. sampling. So, um, Joe, you want to tell us a little bit about the sure, absolutely. Bumbleberry? So uh, bumbleberry, uh, I you know the exact alcohol content. I'm not sure of. 5.3 so it's on the lower side uh, it's real sessionable for me it's the perfect warm weather beer it's all yeah. about like, you know it's too hot you don't want something filling you don't want something heavy here's something light it's got a little bit of fruit to it so it's a little acidic goes down easy not too thick um, and then the honey is not too strong which I, I think a lot of people hear honey like oh it's gonna be way too sweet way too sweet 
most of that ferments out. That's fermentable sugar. So that all ferments out before it even hits the bottle. It, it really actually adds a dryness to it. It's the opposite of what you'd expect. So it's a super well-balanced beer. And like I said, perfect for a warm day. Perfect. So we have a lot of good things going on for the month of August. You can check out a lot of stuff like Katie says on social media, but also on upick6.com. And uh, what else? What am I missing? What, what, what should people know about fatheads? What do you guys want people to know about fatheads that, that people really don't know? I mean, what I thought was interesting is as big as I think you are, right now you're just in three states. And, and yeah. when you see the volume that you're making, it's obviously tremendously popular and you guys are doing great things. So give us, give us an inside scoop here. Inside scoop. I mean, yeah, I think a lot of people... And in a good way, we have kind of a national reputation, but we are a fairly small regional brewery. Um, we only distribute in Ohio, Indiana, and Pennsylvania at this point, although we will be expanding that. Um, I think, you know, my inside scoop would be, I think we're most well known for all of our hoppy beers, and that's kind of what people go hand in hand with. But I think Matt's recipes and our brewers make some of the best German beers um, out Germans there right and now. Germans and Belgians, yeah, we, we make sell beautiful. Both. Didn't all your equipment come from Germany? All the equipment came from Germany, yeah, and we're, we looked at those open fermenters. We make a beer called Gogglefogger Hefeweizen that I think is one of our best beers. And so I think, I think at, just for fatheads, but I think any brewery, it's always good to look beyond, you know, beyond what's popular and beyond what the normal is and, and try the other stuff. And I think Bumbleberry is also a good example of that. You know, we sell a lot of it, but people would call us a hoppy beer, but one of our biggest beers is a... It's a blueberry honey ale that everybody loves. Yeah. I wore my yeah. blueberry shirt today too because of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Com uh, complete accident, I can tell you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> complete accident. No, we need some right. blueberry shirts. There you go. There you go. So, anything else? Parting words from you, Joe? No. I know you got to work. He came to the table sweating. Yeah. I mean, literally, he just yeah. came down from, yes. from the tanks. He's working hard, getting it done. No, we're, uh, we're excited to be open. Happy to see everybody. Hopefully, everybody comes for the opening. and. Uh, yeah, we're a big brewery now, but we're still just a bunch of local guys making beer. So come hang out. Yeah. Then we'll send a bunch of new beer to Erie for you guys. Yeah. And yeah. sell all your customers. Absolutely. Erie and beyond, right? All the places. Exactly. <laughs> so looking forward to that. Like we say, it's Bumbleberry will be on all four locations all month long, in addition to a couple of other Fatheads products. We got some specialty stuff from them as well that other people won't have. So we're very, very excited. Like I said, some good prizes, some good giveaways. You know, talk beer, taste beer, enjoy beer. Everybody knows the drill. and. Uh, that's it, really. Yep, just stay tuned for updates from me on all our social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And uh, always feel free to check back for our beer tastings and events on upick6.com uh, for any updates and um, contests and giveaways. And uh, stay tuned for August, guys. Okay. Cheers. Over Cheers. and out. See you from Fatheads. <laughs> okay, guys, just wanted to let you know for more information of Brew of the Month for events and uh, what's going on, you can always visit our website at upick6.com as well as our social media channels, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, we'll be, you know, updating you guys on this pie eating contest. Pie and eating uh, there it is again. There okay. it is. <laughs> it's September 7th, guys, for the pie eating competition. So if you want to eat some pie, September 7th, 4th and State. It should be exciting enough. So it benefits a great charity. Again, we're asking for a nominal uh, donation to benefit the uh, Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. That is correct. So it's a we bit of a mouthful, but it is a good charity for sure. Yeah. We hope to see you guys um, coming to visit us this August. And uh, there you go. Hope so to see the you usual, soon. Exactly. Four great locations. One great website. Youpick6.com.